whole concept of values is the following. A brand is a widely held set of beliefs and expectations about what you deliver and how you deliver it validated by the experience of whom all of whom the people that you've interact with that's what a brand is that's a very powerful concept of a brand there's many out there this is the one that we chose to share with you because I think it's very valid so when you're speaking I want to create a brand and we talk about Starbucks or we talk about Apple and about those things the reality is that a brand is not a logo a brand is not a color scheme a brand is exactly what it says here so the Starbucks logo is horrible it's, 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 I mean I don't know I don't even understand it uh, there's some logos in, uh, that, that just don't relate to the brands that are behind them but somehow the experiences that are delivered really make the logo be amazing you already see it as something unbelievable so the brand it be you if you want to start with something it has to be your values your values is what define the brand and your values are your true belief look how interesting this is your true belief system brought to life and made visible and credible by our actions that's our values so our living our values is the same as walking you know our talk you know when you live your values so you when your values are in action this is two things when pointed inward what do they are your culture as a company as an institution as an organization as a business when pointed outward they're your brand how others see it outside your environment because and sometimes those two are not connected and you need to connect them and it might be a communication issue you might even feel, listen, I got into a anti way and this is an incredible culture. Why is that not 100% communicated like that on the outside? You understand? That might be a, a, a true thing that you feel. And, and I will tell you, the reality is that as a business evolves, you can start getting into that because your culture and your values start coming out in different ways and adapting to different parts of life depending on who is really living those values in our culture so to give you a great example Avanti Way right now is going through a huge transformation of communication and branding because outside they need to see us how we really are inside because if you see it from the outside it's not that fast it's confusing and we realize it but it takes a process and it's taking a year of planning execution commitment and everything that I'm preaching to you guys so that next year you guys tell us if you guys thought we did a good job or not on what you can see but we the, the way we're building this takes a little bit further because we're not gonna launch it by ourselves we're gonna use you to do it so in the next month you guys are gonna see how we're gonna start using okay our agent council and some of the people that were putting involved in that process so that we bring it to life slowly but surely from the inside out from the culture out and that's part of a strategy that we saw that we that we believe we wanted to do so it is part of this whole concept and you as an agent need to transform that because you might tell me I've been an agent for eight years fine so now let's find a way so other people see you for what you really can become make sure Makes sense okay so this is another concept of you have values that are hardwired and some that are learned because you, you you're brought up in a world family environment etc that has some values that are going to be very hard for anybody to change and we don't expect you to change those because you really are not going to be able to change them period <laughs> okay there's some things that are hardwired luckily those hardwired things are normally things that if you get your learned values and your committed values to really take over are things that can really overcome a lot of the hardwiring stuff that you have because they their learned values make more sense in your head because you really know exactly how you really built them so the brand value concept is what we want to avoid with you as you're setting up your why 
know that that's going to reflect in your brand. And if your real why is not what you're putting on paper or what you're really putting in your lo in logo or whatever it is that you're creating or your experiences or your showings or anything that you do, what's going to happen is that you're always going to have a conflict, a perpetual state of conflict between what you believe and what you must do to suppress your beliefs in order to support your brand. And so you always want to try to push down some things that you really don't believe on, and that just really is not authentic. You will get always or are going to have a hard time with people valuing for what you, you, you really are. So make sure you're true with yourself of what your real uh, values are and create a brand that evolves around the best of what you really are. Okay? And some values that we can share with you are, for example, authenticity, integrity, trustworthiness and you have to start setting up what are values and your values are then the foundation of the experiences you deliver so the only thing that I want to give you as a really pointer on when you're developing your values and writing them down is this keep the following in mind as we move along in the process as an agent okay or an agentpreneur you live in the reality of a brand within a brand culture. Pay attention to the quality of experiences that you are creating and delivering because only those experiences are going to be tracked down and are going to create what then people are going to think of you when they see your real estate name, your website, they see you in the street, etc. Who is the brand culture for you guys? Avanti Way. And who is the brand? You. So you are a brand within the brand culture as a Way.